<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting across from me is my co-host, Alex. I'm tired. Mm, me too. I was, uh, I was snuggly this morning, so I yeah, was not man. getting up. I was I, not getting up. No. Stayed, up in a, stayed in bed for like another hour when I woke up. 7.30 is too early. Yeah. Well, you were 7.30. I woke up around 9-ish, 10. Yeah. Stayed in another hour. I was like, okay, no, I got to get up. I got to get up now. Eventually, our listeners will put together, like, what jobs do these people have? Why can they, how can I stay up this? And, and they're going to piece together, like, oh, I get it. Yeah. I figured out what it is. Uh, just in case you forgot, we are the Easy Achievers. We go over the previous week in gaming. Maybe a topic or two is going over at the end. If you like our stuff, go over uh, to all of our podcast services, YouTube as well, every Friday. Go over every Friday. We post. If you want that early, head over to patreon.com slash easyachievers. Give us a dollar. Get a Patreon exclusive every month. Five bucks. Get everything early. If you're a free older, don't worry. We are too. Please, five stars on all of our things. Give us the thumbs up, whatever soundcloud does give it five clouds five androids if you're on the google play store i guess i don't know uh check out our social scream at us twitter at evm 9000 at craves flip skater with any corrections or any grievances alex let's get into the week Mm -hmm. we got a lot yeah, we, we got a lot. We got a Nintendo Direct to go over. Yep. Dave Batista's in Gears Five. I saw that. And there's just there's some Lego Star Wars mobile game we got to talk to. Oh, is it? And then there's a lot more. But Alex, before I forget, mm. what you been playing? Gears. Gears Four. And trying to hit that thousand for Control. Of course, yes, yes. We finished Control. If you don't know, our spoiler cast is up. If you want all that, head over. It should be live everywhere uh, at the time of posting. Um, Control was great. Yes. But moving on to Gears 5. Yep. Early impressions were only five chapters? Four chapters in? I think it was four chapters. There's four acts, and each act, at least this first one has, I think, five. Five. Yeah, so we're on chapter four. So we're almost done with act one. Mm -hmm. So mid, early impressions for Gears 5. Pretty good so far. So so far, good. Yeah. We haven't played too too much, but the setup's yeah. good so I like far. The story so far. I'm excited to see where it goes. Yep. A lot of weird stuff happening with Kate. I want to see what's happening with her. No spoilers, of course. Yeah, I like the characters though so far. Mm. Like they have good vibes. Mm-hmm. Guns feel great. Sixty yeah. frames it feels amazing. Yes. Oh my god. Four K looks amazing. Yep. HDR looks amazing. Everything about the game looks amazing. Yep. It is a beautiful game already. Already, the opening sequence is literally a, a HDR showcase of, yeah. of of power, and I love it. Uh, next week hopefully we'll have it finished, and we'll go over another spoiler cast. But we'll go with that. Moving on to the news, Alex. Mm. There was an Nintendo Direct two days ago. Yes, there was of our time, and there was a couple things announced. First thing. Overwatch. The rumors are true. On Switch. It's on Switch. The Overwatch Legendary Edition for Nintendo Switch will be available retail and digital via the Nintendo eShop for a suggested price of $39.99. Both versions come with 15 bonus skins as well as a three-month Nintendo Switch Online individual membership. Players who pre-purchase Overwatch Legendary Edition by the game's October 15th launch will receive a Noir Widowmaker skin. In addition, Nintendo Switch players who log into Overwatch by December 31st will receive a bonus golden loot box containing at least one golden legendary item. Cool. Yeah. Luigi's Mansion, they, show, they showed off some stuff. I'm not a big Luigi's Mansion person, so I can't speak to any of this. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it because yeah. my wife, like, as soon as that, uh, the first time they, they showed it, they, she was like, that looks awesome. Mm-hmm. I want that. I want I want to try it for sure. Yeah. Because everyone screams about Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, I've played Dark Moon, mm-hmm. and I've seen the other ones. I just haven't. By the way, I was lazy this time, and I didn't, I didn't put any notes. So this is via Newsweek. I didn't write notes this time. I just <laughs> wanted to watch it. I know. Po- you, yeah, you said that. Yeah, but I did. Yeah. Okay. Pokemon Sword and Shield. They showed off all that stuff. Yep. Um, they showed off the customization. Which looks awesome. Yep. They showed off Curry. <laughs> for whatever Dude, reason. Dude, as soon as that popped up, I was like, this is Elijah's domain. Because <laughs> you love cooking. I do love cooking. So that's I don't know if I love Pokemon cooking. That's cool. Also, what is the sausage in Pokemon world? It's a Pokemon, right? It has to be. It's a messed up thing to think about. Yep. You're eating one Rat- of the little Rattatas. Pokemans. You're eating Rattatas. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Rattata soup. Uh, that was showed off. Uh, two new Pokemon showed off. This weird bird that 
when it does water attacks, it comes up with a fish. It's like it's pretty much like a pelican, but it's not fat like one. Yeah, it does look like a pelican. Definitely. Definitely. And then the other one was some Pokemon. It's a po- uh, Poltegeist. It's like a, it looks oh, like Oh yeah, yeah, no, I, like liked, a, it, I it, actually liked that one. It looked, it looked like, cool. It looks like it's a, a ghost in a teapot, yeah. basically. Yeah. It looked really cool. Um moving on, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. That looks interesting. Yeah, it looks interesting. I've always it. wanted to try it, but I just never got I around to it. I tried the the second one, and mm-hmm. I was like, "That's eh. the one with the ladies are the weapons." Right? What the new one? Or? Mm-hmm. Oh, Two. I, I, I think got... I think the women turn into swords. I didn't get that far. I think could be thinking of something. That's interesting. Else. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, very right. Yeah. Uh, but th- that's coming out uh, sometime in 2020. Super Kirby Clash, a free to start Kirby game, will allow up to four players to team up as a different Kirby to take down enemies. It has some RPG elements, allowing different Kirbys to have different jobs and abilities. It looks like almost the exact same game as the last one that just it came, does. Out. It came the out. The 3DS one? No, no, the, there was one that was on Switch. Oh, um. The one that came out like oh, two damn years it. ago, I think. Uh, I yeah, it it's. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't remember. But yeah, it's the Kirby game on Switch. Yeah, yeah it, it looks like that too. And it I, was does like, look like that. I thought it was like a sequel to it or something. Trials of Mana remake. The HD remake of the classic game Trials of Mana is coming it looked to Nintendo good. Switch next year. Trials of Mana? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks yeah, awesome. It looks, yeah. Fully voiced characters and upgraded graphics. Players who went to play the original can enjoy it as part of the currently available collection of Mana. So mm-hmm. that Trials of Mana, which I'm probably going to buy the collection and just try it out and then buy Trials when it comes out. Yeah. Uh, April 24th, 2020 is when it comes out. The Nintendo Switch Online SNES update, which is what we've all been yes. waiting for. And After yeah. many leaks and rumors, Nintendo Switch comes with the SNES game starting yesterday. Yep. These games come free with the subscription. In quotes, is free because you pay for the subscription. Yeah, you pay. It's yeah. not free. And the library will be continually updated. Also, a wireless SNES controller will be available to purchase for 30 bucks. I will buy that as well because uh, yeah, I am bad sure. with money. Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda, mm. A Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Stunt Race, FX, Kirby's Dream Land 3, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Star Fox, F-Zero, Pilot Wings, Kirby's A Dream Course, Brawl Brothers, Breath of Fire, Demon Crest, Joe and Mac 2, Lost in the Traffics, Super EDF, Earth Defense Force, uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Puyo Puyo 2, Super Soccer, Super Tennis. I'm already start. I already started one, and I'm already playing the hell out of it. What are you playing? Guess. Link to the past. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I never actually finished it all the way. So good. I, I only played it. Every, I always get like do the beginning parts, mm-hmm. and I'm like, Ugh. I'm playing Super Metroid. I'm definitely yeah. playing Super. I never played. it. I started it when I uh, I when it. I borrowed your SNES mm-hmm. classic. I I started that one. That mm-hmm. one was pretty fun. Fantastic games. Definitely worth twenty dollars. Oh god, yeah. Definitely worth twenty bucks. I mean, and you don't just get that. You get the subscription. <sighs> and this stuff reminds like. me. Annoying thing happened to my Switch. I, I brought it out to get this update. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My little kickstands broke. It's really? like all floppy now. Yeah. I think about getting like some glue. Not glue glue, but you know how you can stick glue on, pop it in, oh. and I'll be able to take it out still? Mm. Trying to do that. I don't know. But that's annoying. Yeah. I was like, now nah, I got to buy a new Switch. <laughs> Try to I've been looking for an excuse. <laughs> 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 you want the updated battery one that's not really. 30, 30 like minutes and more? Really. Oh, yeah. 30 minutes more. <laughs> Breath of Fire. Really good, by the way. Yeah. Oh, is, is it? it? Yeah. It's really good. Okay. So, me, me and dad played it. Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE. It's one of those uh, husbando games where yeah. all the uh, sexy anime guys are in it. Yeah. The popular Wii U game Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE is coming to the Nintendo Switch in a new version, new characters, and songs to play. Fight your way through hordes of enemies starting January 17th. I don't know what this game is, but I think I'll try it because Fire it, Emblem is in it and Persona yeah, people are in it. I play say, both yeah. those games. I think it's one of those, like, you know how uh, Persona has the Persona Q arena thing? Yeah. It's like that, I guess. Mm-hmm. Little Town Hero, the latest game from Game Freak, people who made uh, Pokemon. Yep. Little Town Hero will put players' strategy to the test as you protect your town from invading monsters. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Tetris 99 version 2. Basically an mm-hmm. update to the original Tetris 99, which is the Battle Royale Tetris game. Tetris 99 Invictus mode is here, and players can't even play it until uh, un- unless they achieve Tetris Maximus status, which means getting first place at least once in the traditional online mode of Tetris 99. I got so close. My so wife close. didn't know that was a thing. Really? Yeah, for oh, Tetris it's 99. And she oh, was so like, fun. really? She was like, that looks a lot. It, it's like, fun, and it's fun. I, I got to like five once. I was very upset that I lost. Uh, to show off accomplishments, new player icons be added as well. And there's also a second wave called the Big Block DLC. Two-player share mode, share joy cons for a two-player game against each other and the CPU in a local arena mode. Looks cool. 
Yep. It looks like there's paid DLC as well for Tetris 99. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening was showed off. Players can place chambers earned in the adventure to create custom chamber dungeons. Finished dungeons can be saved to a compatible ab- amiibo figure in the Legend of Zelda series or Smash Brothers series. So they can be shared with friends. A new Link amiibo figure inspired by the style of the game will launch September 20th, the same day as the game's release. Yep. Animal Crossing New Horizon, my girlfriend shrieked in, ho- uh, in amazement when this was lost, so I think everyone on this podcast should have heard that. Yeah. Uh, players join the deserted island getaway package by Nuke Inc. and start a relaxing new life full of creativity, charm, and freedom in this next installment in the Animal Crossing series. Launching for Nintendo Switch on March 20, 2020. 2020? Do you care? About what? Animal, Animal Crossing. Crossing. It looks, looks like your game. It and, looks and, interesting. I will try. Uh, I mean, I'll try it. Troll wrote Car- me in some way. She'll be like, "You want to play?" Yeah, same with Can her. Can you help me with my? Yeah, my wife wants flowers. To, wants to try sure. it, and so I was like, "If they're gonna both get it, we're probably gonna have it, and then we'll yeah, probably try it. It'll be easy, right?" Yeah, I'll try it. Damon X Machina. A free demo is available today, as of uh, as of the Nintendo Direct, which allows people to learn the game and earn some in-game goodies. All progress from the game will be transferred to the full game, which is. September thirteenth. Well, that looks cool. Uh, that was it the mech look, game. It looks. It reminds me a I lot. I need of, to try this demo. It reminds me a lot of Gundam. You and your Gundams. I mean, I, I like building them, but the game. I haven't tried the game. I I watched Gundam when I was a kid, and it was fun. I have no idea which Gundam I watched. I, watched. I never watched it. I watched. If it. you guys know which Gundam this is, it's. It, I, I remember when you got into it, the little thing would cover you in a black suit. And you would be inside the Gundam moving around. Watch that be all of them. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Um, and then it ends with the guy getting the girl saved. And he's also wearing a... He's still wearing the black suit. I don't know. I have no other information to help <laughs> you. Oh, and the gun, one of the Gundams was the one that was red. And it had two giant barrels on his head. Like on his shoulders. And he could push it forward and shoot. Huh. I hope that helps. <laughs> I have to look it up. Um, I watched Zoids. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, Zoids? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I watched Zoids, too. Yeah, so that's oh my I God. watched that more than Gundam because I never... I watched. Watched it. I think I watched that more. I m- remember more of Zoids. Yeah. Zoids? Uh, I even had the little toys that oh, of course. and stuff. I had the big one. Um, there was one specific transformation I, that I liked. One. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, definitely the wolf one. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition, the critical, beloved, and fan favorite role-playing game is available on Nintendo Switch beginning today. With the power of Nintendo Switch, players can slay monsters and unleash magic with up to three friends at home or on the go. Carly said that was my... Uh, she, it, when she saw the trailer for that, mm-hmm. she was like, that looks like your type of game. I was like, really? I have it on the Xbox. I just haven't tried it. Uh, you probably wouldn't like it. Yeah, I was, yeah. yeah. It's too much. It's 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 I mean, very it, RPG. I'm yeah. talking like... It's well, it probably, looks like, honestly, it's best played on a PC. I don't think... Yeah, I mean, it looks like Diablo, but it's like more... It's Diablo with like times 10. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because it is very Diablo-like. It's just... it's There's a lot going on. I'd rather actually play it on PC because I played it on an Xbox and I was playing. I was like, there's just so much... Too much to I need a PC so I can hit like number yeah, keys and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Return of the Oberdeen. Base, I've heard I've heard nothing but good things about Return of the I need to try it out. Critically acclaimed, stylish indie game coming to Nintendo Switch this fall as an insurance investigator for the East India Company, which is an awesome shout out in history. Players must board a ship, explore surroundings, turn back time with the Memento Mortorium pocket watch, and record logical deductions to solve the ship's mystery. I have to get this. I like that. I didn't looked. know the East India Company was involved. Yeah, oh yeah, it looks awesome. The art style is really cool too. Deadly Premonition Two: A Blessing in Disguise. Apparently. This is a big deal, too. I, so, I yeah. don't know anything about this game. A sequel to the cult classic Deadly Premonition is headed to Nintendo Switch when FBI agent Aaliyah Al- Al- Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer Ali- case. Uh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Thank you, Aaliyah. I'm glad we got that fake person's name right. Hey, hey some people get upset, man. <laughs> I know, man. She also opens the door to the unknown. Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise. Boogles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch. I wasn't ready for that uh, alliteration. Boggles really and beguiles. Did I and I say that? You said boogles. Did I really? Yes, you did. Boogles is much better. Boogle. <laughs> Rogue Company. Introducing Rogue Company, a 5v5 online shooter from High res Studios. High res is people who made Smite. Yep. In this yep. new IP, players can play against friends or instantly match up online with a similarly skilled team in a variety of objective-based modes. Mercenaries can be fully customized to match the player's style. Rogue Company sneaks up. Nintendo Switch in 2020. Some big surprise here. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast comes yeah. to Switch. May the Force be with this Star Wars classic. Kyle Kat- Tarn. <laughs> Agent Katarn. Katarn? Yeah. Okay. Agent of the New Republic is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready. Star Wars Jedi 2. 
Jedi Outcast coming to Nintendo Switch. September Did you ever 24th. play that one? No. The only game I've really played of Star Wars is Revenge of the Sith and, on PS2. And Kotar. And Night to the, I, Night to the Republic. Nope, didn't play that either. Really? Mm-mm. I have and the second one on my computer. The Sith one. I have. Uh, I played a little bit when it came to Game Pass, but I been, I gotcha. it was old. Yeah. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. We have to buy this, Alex. Uh, just don't for forget the, Doom 64. Oh, I did skip. Th- thank you. Doom 64. There are at least 64 reasons for fans to get excited about this <laughs> classic first-person shooter, Doom 64. I love who wrote this article. Coming to Nintendo Switch with the ability to play it anywhere, being one of them. Doom 64 launches on Nintendo Switch on November 20. I'll probably get that just because that looks cool. Yeah, 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 me too. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020. In addition to playing classic multiplayer events with Mario and Sonic and all their friends, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020, also features a single-player story mode, new game, new minigames, and 10 retro-style events, which is cool. You can turn them into 8-bit versions. I love that part. Yeah. These new events are displayed in old-school 2D graphics, perfect for retro fans around the world. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games goes for the gold medal on November 5th. Do a tenor records to get some quick updates on various titles. Yeah, There's lot. some stuff about NBA. I'm not reading all this. It's just a bunch of cool stuff. They did basically did a highlight reel of all the stuff. I will glaze through. Just, you can Outer Worlds titles. is coming to Switch. Uh, just Dance was showed off. Nino Kuni. Devil May Cry 2 yeah. for whatever reason. That's the bad one. Uh, Grid Auto Sport. Vampires coming. Call of Cthulhu. Farming Simulator 20, which is 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection, which is actually really good. Yeah. Um, you get Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which is the second best Assassin's Creed I've ever made. And Assassin's Creed Rogue. The That's two action-packed games from all the award-winning Assassin's Creed series for one great value. God, all single-player DC and everything is for so, it. Imagine Assassin's Creed Black Flag being played on that Switch. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Dope, right? Yeah. I kind of want to get it again. <laughs> yeah, my Dauntless. Too. <laughs> Dauntless is also coming. That's that free-to-play game that's a Monster Hunter-like. Couldn't get into it. Me either. Me either. I, I, didn't, I never no, could get not, into Monster Hunter I would say it's, Hunter Hunter say it's not for us. We, didn't, we did not like Monster Hunter at all. Yeah. What would you think of the directing all, Alex? It was okay. Yep. I mean, there was. Least, I'm surprised there was some stuff that I actually wanted. Like mm-hmm. I, th- I wanted. I mm-hmm. didn't think I was, was going to be anything. Yeah. I, I came for the stuff. Pokemon Animal Crossing. Yeah. And stayed for the SNES stuff. Yep. So, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> I got everything I wanted out of it. Um, well, surprising, the, it was a uh, longer. Normally, a direct is only like what 20, 30 minutes. The yeah. only thing I'm waiting for is Super Mario <laughs> Galaxy remake. Mm. One and two. Those are really good games. Yeah, I want good. to play them. Well, I don't know how that one's good. Oh, I mean, I guess we have the Joy-Cons. Because I was going to say, because when it was um, on the Wii, they used them. I'm hoping they just get rid of it all. Yeah. Just be like, it's just a regular Mario game. Yeah, just, it's just It's, it's Mario 64 now. Just don't worry about the little pointing at the screen. They can have it as an option. I just hope they don't, they don't do that. <laughs> but all in all, very good direct. I think everyone goes away with at least two things they liked. Yep. Moving on. CD Projekt Red is officially making more Witcher and Cyberpunk games. This is via Polygon over by Charlie Hall. As it seizes into the final push to complete Cyberpunk 2077, CD Projekt Red is officially moving to a dual franchise model. That confirms for both investors and fans that more games in the Witcher franchise are on the way. The new direction was proudly announced in a financial report issued by the CD Projekt Capital Group covering the first half of 2019. Dope. It just means we get more stuff. Yep. I'm excited. Uh, I want more Witcher stuff now, and I want more cyberpunk things now before we even have the game. I want mm. it, I want more now. Do you think we're ever going to get a game that's Witcher, but um, instead of Geralt-based, it's Ciri-based? Um, I I want that to yeah. happen. I think we might have a all-new character. I don't think they want to make hmm. a, like, no, a Ciri game because it ends story. so many ways. Yeah. Because remember, you can... Finish it three ways. Yeah. So I don't think they want to be like one was canon, one wasn't. I think oh, just gonna, yeah, yeah. Go I think they're just going to start with someone who needs to be taught again. Leaked Resident Evil Images Show Project teased by Capcom for Tokyo Game Show. Reddit user 5i Samurai, that's a pretty good name, has discovered images for the Project Resistance trailer thanks to a YouTube thumbnail grabber tool which sounds scarier than it actually is, which they used on a live stream URL. These images show a group of four people in, civil, uh, in civilian clothing, which may potentially point to a four-player co-op game. Perhaps it came to a Resident Evil outbreak. Clear images were subsequently posted by Twitter user Nipple. Thank you, Nipple. Looks cool. Eh, yeah, huh. looks cool. I can, dig- I can go for a co-op Resident Evil game. Yeah. I mean, are all Res- or most of them co-op? No, only five and six. I think Revelations is, but that's it. Should be it. Hmm. 
Yeah, five, six, and I think both Revelation games are. I think that's it. Okay. So one, two, three, four, all those. Marvel's oh, Avengers game was showed off at PAX West, so we have more details about it. Okay. This is by GameSpot. Uh, where is the where, where is it? Where's the person here? Oh, it's oh, it's kind of like a, a okay. show off thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, here, let's see, let's see what the PAX coverage is. Yeah. Is it Jacob Decker, Alessandro yeah. Ferrari, and Richie B. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like they don't actually have a write-up for this. So I'm just going to tell you what I saw. Um, at PAX, they showed off a bunch of things. They showed off the new gameplay footage. They showed off uh, uh, Thor's gameplay. They showed off Hulk's gameplay. I think most of this was behind closed doors. And they went into how everyone feels pretty good. The gameplay seems good. So we're just hoping that the actual things. And they went more in-depth with the microtransactions. So the they're going to be free costumes you unlock while playing the game and there will be paid dlc obviously when the game comes out too you'll be paying for suits and all that stuff they're trying to make both classic suits in the shop uh, also original suits as well so they're going to try and bring in everything from the 80 plus years of marvel to this game while also making some original content as well that's also all off the top of my head i'm pretty sure i missed a few things but that's generally what it was just showing off some thor and hulk combat um, and uh, talking about how the macro transactions will work with the game. Hopefully, this game turns out well. I'm skeptical. Hopefully, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Shovel Knight is getting a new spinoff game and new features. This is over on Kotaku by Nathan, Gr- Nathan Grayson. Even after years of updates, Shovel Knight does not tire, nor does he slow down. He's determined to shovel onward, even if it cost him his life. Today, developer Yacht Club, St- uh, Lock Club Games unearthed a veritable treasure trove of new stuff on the gaming's foremost uh, night. It's dope. Uh, so King of Cards, which is a new game, kind of, in the Shovel Knight universe. King of Cards comes out. That's similar to all the other ones. This is the final addition to the original Shovel Knight. Um, it's a new campaign because they've, they've made a bunch of new campaigns of the villains in the game. So this mm-hmm. is just another one of those. And then Shovel Knight Dig is coming out. There's a, a new game called Away. It's called Shovel Knight Dig. It's about digging. Can you, and indeed, will you dig it? <laughs> Only time was up for now, though. So. Yacht Club says it's about Shovel Knight pursuing Drill Knight and his dastardly crew to the center of the earth, or somewhere there, uh, thereabouts. Through a series of subterranean levels are both meticulously crafted and stitched together using pr- uh, proprietary generation uh, techniques for infinite replayability. As you dig, you'll acquire various riches. Looks cool. You basically literally just dig down until you fight people. Looks cool. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of been hoping they just make a new game because they've been on this game for a, la- a very wow. long time, a very long time. But hey, whatever, whatever floats their boat. It makes the money. Uh, this is sad news. Several high-profile game developers publicly accused of sexual assault. This is over by The Verge by Andrew Webster. Uh, I'm not gonna read this whole article because it's pretty long, but I want to get the important parts so everyone knows what happened. So back in 2018, Guardian editor Keza McDonald wrote that the video game industry isn't yet ready for its quote "me too" moment. But whether or not that's still whether or not that's still true, people are attempting to hold abusers and their enablers accountable over the past day. Multiple high-profile men in the video game industry have been accused of sexual assault. Many of them accusations are years old. In some cases, more than a decade. And they all point to a toxic environment where developers not only have to live with constant fear of abuse, but also with the significant professional and personal repercussions of outing their abusers. Things started with a lengthy blog post from artist and game uh, designer Nathalie Law. Okay, yeah, I thought so. I didn't think that was going to be correct. Bluntly titled, quote, calling out my rapist, end quote. Yikes. In it, she accuses Jeremy Soule, a longtime game composer behind series like Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, and Elder Scrolls of Rape, while the two were working together on an unnamed game studio in Vancouver in 2008. The post also points out several degraded work environment following the assault in which Lawhead was disrespected at work, had to fight for pay, and ultimately let go from her job. These claims are backed up by extensive documentation in the form of dozens of emails. Quote, I sure not expecting to be able to get through through the backlash, the lying, the excuses, the gaslighting happening all over again. The fan base might come after me because that's just what happens in games or hearing more of, quote, his side of the story, end quote. Late Hits Post reads, my side of the story has never given a chance. I'm willing to try. I'm sharing this, hoping there will be information about him out there so other women can be informed. Hmm. Wow. So a bunch of other people came in. Zoe Quinn, developer of games like Depression Quest, author of Crush Ride, a focal point of the misogynist Gamergate movement, posted a whoring account on Twitter recounting alleged abuse from indie developer Alec Halawak, best known for Aquari- 
Aquaria and Night in the Woods. She also goes into her unfortunate abuse. Uh, in a statement on, on Twitter, Scott Benson, who worked with Hollow Account on Nights of the Woods, wrote that we believe Zoe's account on Alex's actions were very sad and very angry. So a couple more people come out. Uh, I think this has developed since this posting. There's been a quite bit more allegations. Sad to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, game industry has been a boys club since the 80s. And it's transformed radically in about the last 10 years. Much yeah. more warm up coming in. And we still got kind of gross men from that time frame. Uh, so hopefully all this gets quelled quickly. And this gets dealt with with haste. Mm -hmm. We're two men, so we can't speak too much about sexual abuse. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. This is over on Kotaku. Ethan Gatch. I feel gross just watching NBA 2K20's at Lootbox trailer. Alex, were you able to watch this thing? Nope, I have This not. was incredible. All right. This is incredible. This is out. This is Elijah talking right now. Okay. This was in. I couldn't believe what I was watching. So what the trailer is, is basically a middle finger to everyone who said loot boxes aren't gambling. <laughs> if you can see, Alex, that is quite a slot machine, correct? Yeah. There is straight up a slot machine in this game. I don't know if it's still in it because the game just released technically today as of recording. Huh. But there's there's a lot machine you straight up hit. We're gonna read the article now. NBA 2K20 is supposed to be a game primarily about playing baseball, and you wouldn't know that from the game's latest trailer. By the way, this was taken off everywhere. Yeah, I noticed that. I went to press yeah. the video, and it's unavailable. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Someone has it somewhere, uh, which makes the game look like something you might see in a casino. Released on Monday, the quote "my team" end quote trailer for the NBA 2K20 shows off all the ways you can recruit better players and win prizes through randomized games, as in games prior. The whole system revolves around card packs. Open more packs, get hopefully more rare and more powerful players players can even evolve now so sort of like pokemon <laughs> then there's the reimagined triple threat mode with tons more prizes at this point only 30 seconds in the trailer shows what players can get racking up wins including in-game currency more car packs and even a chance to spin to win further jackpot prizes there's also ball drops you know those mini games like on the prices right <laughs> i love that one i forget what it's called but it's the one where you get on the top and you let the thing drop and you're trying to get the money at the bottom yeah it's dope uh, you can watch a ball randomly fall through a series of pegs. Who? who I have to stop. Who? Who put this in the game? This is straight up like. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't I mean, believe EA this happened. EA authorized it. Uh, this is an EA. It's two K or two K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're thinking of Madden. It's fine. Yeah, yeah sorry. But uh, it, 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 it's baffling. Yeah. Baffling. Baffling. That basically ends it. Uh, it's uh, the series. Mighty mode has been trending toward being a macro transactive stuff nightmare. Like I said, we've talked about this. I think twice before. It's people seem to not care. I mean, I'm hearing people raving about this new 2K, clamoring for it, needing to buy it. They're fine with buying VC and getting more strong with it. Like literally, the definition yeah. of pay to win. But so, then a bunch of other games get crap about it. Yeah, it's interesting, and I would love to talk with people about it. And I might ask somebody. Um, if I can, I'm not sure though. Incredible. We can't speak too much. We don't play NBA. Um, I don't know if that's obvious from what we play. <laughs> we, yeah. we don't really play much NBA. I did want to try this one out for the story mode because story mode looked good. I'm not supporting this though. I can't. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh, oh over uh, certain things. Uh, and gadget. John Fingas. Over six million user created maps are coming in a Halo Master Chief collection. Yeah. This is dope. I don't even need to read the article. I just want to give them a heads up on that. Uh basically you are able to port over your Halo three maps to the Master Chief collection. Yep. Dope. Yeah, Halo three, yeah, Halo yeah, Reach, have, and Halo Four. Yeah, you have to get on the three sixty versions and then there's like a button type of thing uh, that you, says you can it, transfer. Map share, right? I think it's what it's called or something. You just put the map in there and then it's gonna be everywhere, which yeah. is so cool. So cool. Oh my god, it's so cool. I um I I want to get on it, but I don't really have a 360 to 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 do that with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have. I mean, uh, my little brother has my 360, mm -hmm. but I don't think I have Halo th I don't think I have a Halo 3 disc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same, so right? I have to get one. Yeah. Not that dedicated, but I do wish I could do it. Yeah. Um so Dave Batista is in Gears 5. Uh play as me in Gears 5 starting September 5th. This is over by his Twitter account. Um yeah, so September 5th Dave Bautista, because if you remember correctly, Dave Bautista always wanted to be in the Gears movie. And apparently there's rumors of there mm -hmm. is a Gears movie and he's in it. And he, they actually put him in the game. Yeah, it's hilarious because, yeah, that little trailer, he was sitting there and he was like, finally. And yeah, and he, he puts, puts the shades yeah, on. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. It was cool. I liked it. Yeah. yeah I'm... 
Because he gets, he seems like a real gears guy. Oh, definitely, right? Yeah. I mean, like if huge. somebody could pull off, yeah. There's some, like, now we need the Rock. Who else do we need? Uh, rock. You know what? Let's just make this like Expendables. Rock, pretty much. <laughs> Dave Batista. Uh, yeah. uh, Rocky Papa. <laughs> oh yeah, you're talking about Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> yeah, Sylvester Stallone. Um, Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren, sure. Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Yeah, definitely Terry Crews. Yeah, and uh, there's, uh, there's uh, also Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. There's uh, Jason Statham. I want him in there too. Yep. Let's just get it. Hey, Make an expendable yeah. gears. <laughs> That'd be so cool. People will go nuts. Yeah. I, I would lo- I would love to see Terry Crews. Though. It's funny that I, like one of the trailers and one of the reactions. It's like uh, when he's putting the shades on, there's a little screen on the side and it's like a woman crying. It's like, it's so, it's so beautiful. beautiful. Uh, I see it. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> and there's a guy like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I love this. Yeah, I love this. I like when they do cool collaborations, like the Terminator thing God, and yes. the Halo Reach thing. There's already t- three collaborations on this thing. Yeah, b- yeah and the game's just coming out. And yep. again, that'll be September fifteenth, so in about a week, it will be out already. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint closed beta year one post launch content detailed. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Good lord. Uh, Ubisoft will give players plenty of reasons to head back to a war. Adam Bankhurst over on IGN. Ubisoft has detailed Tom Glancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint closed beta, which runs from September 5th to 8th, has also revealed its plans for year one post-launch content for the sequel to 2017's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Ghost Recon Breakpoint closed beta will be available PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC for those who pre-order the game. Uh, both retail and digitally are subscribed on PC to Uplay Plus. And who participate in Breakpoint's online technical tests, a group of random players will also be selected from those who sign up at ghostrecon.com slash beta. Those who gain access to Clippies will be able to taste out several provinces and missions that can be played solo or up to four-player co-op. There will be two Operation Greenstone missions from the main storyline or missions that act as a side mission to allow players to discover more about the island inhabitants and faction missions will feature eight new missions per day. Cool. Are you excited for this game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ex- as excited as I was for... Wildlands, that's what it's called. There you go. Yeah. Wildlands. Like, yeah. I want to try it, but Me too. Uh, I, I'm going to wait. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I definitely don't need to rush out to get this. It. I don't think it's yeah, for same. me, but I know a lot of people who love it. I mean, I still want to try. I, I still want to go back to Wildlands and do the Sam Fisher <laughs> thing. Yeah. And then the, 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 pre, the prequel mission thing to this. The, for oh, the I forgot Jumper, about that. Yeah, we the should do that too. Thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This over on Kotaku by Mike Fahey. Lego Star Wars Battles announced today, coming in 2022 hours at an Android. Lego Star Wars Battles is an extra strategy game that has players build decks on light or dark side characters and vehicles from across all nine movies in the Skywalker saga, pairing them against other players in online battles. Why Lego? Why not? So it sounds like it's just Hearthstone but Legos. Yeah, probably. I, it sounds like it's they a card literally game. just showed off the logo. Yeah, I, I have a feeling. Like, I, feel, I feel like it's a card game. Yeah, they said a deck, right? So I assume it's yeah, a card game as well. I, I, hopefully, it's good. I'll play it um, just to see because I love Lego and yeah. I love Star Wars. And I played Lego Star Wars and I love that too. So, I mean, this sounds perfect for me, right? Alex, we have some more sad news. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is over at Heather Alexandria over on Kotaku. Uh, PlayStation 3 servers for Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, and The Last of Us will be disabled tomorrow. So, as of recording, it is already disabled. Most players have yep. long since moved to PS4. But if you're going to enjoy some more content, you could have logged in before then. That sucks. Yeah. That so sucks. all the it's Naughty gone. Dog ones. Yep. Yeah, it's gone. PS3 slowly, slowly being taken offline. Yep. Kind of like um, with the people who are dying with the little two, like, so you take one out and oh, yeah. beep. We should have a beep moment for him. It's messed up. Yeah. It's probably. <laughs> Apex Legends Void Walker event introduces limited tight sniper shotgun only mode. Uh, this is over on, jo- uh, this is by Jordan Remy on GameSpot. Uh, the newest limited event in Apex Legends has begun called Voidwalker. The event will only last a few weeks, similar to Iron Crown, and it introduces a new town takeover. Limited time mode and additional in-game challenges in Iron Crown, Octane took over the small settlement outside Thunderdome and transformed into a skate park, complete with launch pans, ramps, and a ring of fire. Likewise, in Voidwalker, a portion of King Canyon has transformed. If you drop at the base camp behind Hydrodome, you will now find the remains of the mysterious facility where Wraith was once held captive. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. So they're trying to add story, too, because there was a little mini yeah. animated short that was added. I want that skin that she's wearing. That is a cool skin, right? Yeah. It, I looks, need like a, it looks like a Mass Effect slash Iron Man skin. 100%. I need to get on just to try to get that. Yeah. That's what I did. I wish there was the end. When does this end? 
Usually they're like two weeks. Uh, Void Walker continues until September 17th. September 17th? Jesus, yeah. I only have so a week. So you only have until then to participate in the Armin Dungeons. So there's like events. 11 more days as of recording. Yes. I should. I need to get on there to try. Hopefully they're, they're easy. So I can just get in and get yeah, out hopefully. and play, back, play some more gears again. Yep. Alex, that's it for the news. We got a quick one today. Uh, only 30 minutes so far in the recording. How are you? I'm good so far. You good? I, uh, I want to. I want to go play more gears mm-hmm. and finish control, but mm-hmm. of course I gotta go to work. Yeah, me too. Gotta go to work as well. Right after this, um, it's funny. I was coming over and they were like, "Hey, can you come in early?" And like, well, no, too late now. No, too late. I'm kind of already doing this thing now. Um, it's interesting. Uh, uh, with gears, I meant to play four again to yeah. like refresh myself. Yeah, and um, we're thinking of doing something wink wink eventually. We'll talk about more of that maybe later. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wanted to try play Gears Four, uh, just to revamp myself on the game. I should have, but I I, about I'm it. glad I remember enough. Yeah, because well, it's weird because I couldn't have. I could, it's it's crazy how memorable the game was. Yeah, because I and, only remember so much in that game. I'm I'm playing Gears Five and all the callouts. I'm understanding, which yeah. is cool. Oh no, yeah, yeah. I mean, even if you didn't, at least story wise, it's not a spoiler, but there's like a bit of a little trailer thing to help you catch up oh yeah the previous previously young gears there's yeah. the previous young gears and then there's the state of the universe gears too which i assume I is like that, yeah. everything like i want to i want to check that out i kind of want to watch it just for fun too yeah same mm-hmm. oh and the um uh i don't know if you guys heard about this uh, gears 5 accessibility features are the only game ever to get a hundred percent on can i play this.com oh, which wow, is yeah. which is like where disabled people go and see Oh yeah, yeah, accessibility yeah. As soon as when we went on the menu, the adaptive controller was on the bottom left. Yep. I think if you like, if and you have you one, you can set connect it, up. it. Yeah, yeah, you can set it up. And That's stuff. awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome, and it got a hundred percent, which is insane. And there is yeah. a lot of settings in the game, which is really cool. Oh god, yeah, there's like a lot going on. You can even remap every controller in the game. Too. Yeah, like I, I was going that. through settings last night, and it tells you each thing, and you can set it to whatever you want, which is really cool. I don't think it's getting enough attention by people. Yeah. Uh, let's go over the review roundup actually for Gears Five Control. Um, and uh, NBA. Okay. Let's do that. I'm going to go to Metacritic, as always. Um, I did hear really good things about Gears, so I know that's going to be good. I think it's a, I think it was around an 80 or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then um, uh, I did Gears, Gears 5. And then um, I heard uh, uh, Control, of course, from us got around the same, I think, as... Yeah. Uh, uh, everyone else. So it was around an eight, around there. Metacritic. The Gears Five. What was that? Eighty-eight. I think it was. Uh, I don't know. Oh God, ads. I have Control. Uh, it's uh, yeah. At least Go ahead. I have the Xbox One version. It's, it's all the same. Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Yeah. Eh, yeah. That's about where I put it too. Yeah. Gears Five is eighty-five by the uh, critic reviews, and then a nine for user reviews. Um, similar to Rotten Tomato, users and critics can both review the game. And they're yep, scored yeah. accordingly. For control, for user reviews, it got a little bit lower. It got a 6.9. Mm, people, people didn't like it as much. Let's still I guess up, so. Let's look up 2K. How's this one getting received this year? Pretty sure it's getting received just fine like it always does. Oh, Jesus. Never mind. Oh, my God. Metascore isn't there yet because I guess no critics have reviewed it on here yet, which is weird. Are no reviews up for this game yet? I guess not, because I just came out, right? Well, but, they get oh yeah, I got to it. I mean, may, maybe Gears Five's reviews were out before the game came out. Ah, that's a good point. Um, I was still on Control's Metacritic page, and I was just scrolling down for like critic reviews versus user reviews, and like they were all good. Like uh, there was a bunch that was like, oh, critics were like you know, hundred, ninety, ninety, eighty-five, eighty, and then uh, I go down to user reviews, and then once is like ten, 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 nine, eight. It looks like most. And then it was a one. It looks like most of these people probably aren't playing the game, though. Well, there was one right here by Game it, Monster. It says we have spoiled with sixty frames per second games like DMC Five and Resident Evil Two. This thirty frames per second game feels really dated. Wow. Yeah. I, I wonder like, how hey, many people are like, because obviously some of these people are just kind of. Yeah, I feel like it's here just, to be yeah, upset. I feel like those people like that. They're just they. I mean. Now, because I mean, I don't. Feel, I mean, it felt good to me. Even though if you if you get a low res or a low frame rate game, I mean, that doesn't mean it's gonna be a bad game. Talking about NBA, so no control. Control. Okay, I was yeah. talking about NBA. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, this um, is all about control. Yeah, no, I mean, control was stuttering a lot, so I feel them in that area, but yeah, the gameplay was so fun, I just didn't care. Just did not care. I was having so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Again, excited to play more Gears. I want to have it complete so we can do that spoiler cast because I heard the ending is great. For Gears? Yeah, Gears 5. Yep. Yep. Uh, the Monster Hunter Iceborne. I forgot that's out too. What is it? Monster Ma- Hunter? Monster Hunter, yeah. The new Monster Hunter. I Iceborne. saw it was out. I just like, I don't play Monster Hunter. Yeah, so. yeah. We don't really play it. So. I know. Uh, Albert. No, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. What were you about no, to say? No, no, I wasn't about to say anything. Go ahead. Um, I, I still want to take a look at Astro Chain. I just got to wait. Yeah, me too. Um, we'll probably half that or something um, yeah. if we end up actually wanting it. It's just we need time. Mm-hmm. So far, I'm, I'm, I've been stuck. I've been playing so much Destiny. I mean, uh, we had more time to play stuff because of this hurricane. Oh, oh yes. Out. We haven't yeah. even went over that, ladies and gentlemen. We had a hurricane. Um, of course, we live in Georgia, so we were kind of close to the hurricane. So we did have to postpone recording till Saturday. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> which, no, today's Friday, right? Yeah, today's Friday. Today's Friday. I'm sorry. God, I'm all over the place. So, so we had to postpone until Friday, and we uh, we kind of had to piece, uh, piece this all together at once uh, to be able to get this out for you guys. But yeah. I promise we will never miss a week. Regardless if I'm dead or not, I will not miss a week. I'll try to take over. Yeah, there you go. I'll bring my bo- a body like weekend at Bernie's. So I'll... Okay. <laughs> I have nothing to say for that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any, any thoughts for them? Mm. Play Gears. Yes. Buy an Xbox One, play Gears, because I know you're not you don't have an Xbox One if you're listening to this. Honestly, uh, if you game. have a good PC and I think is there it on go. Xbox uh, yeah. Play Anywhere? Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's Play Anywhere, but it's for sure you can buy it on PC. Check. It's I always mean, it you can always play. Play. you can play almost games. anything yeah. on PC. Oh, I mean it's an Xbox exclusive, so it's on PC. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They've been releasing on PC for years. But he's checking for playing anywhere. Uh, update Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. If you have Ultimate, you have this yes. game. Download it. Uh, again, they still have that deal live for two dollars for two months. Yes, and that I think that and still it, it, extends to your gold membership. Yes, it so stacks. if you have a year of gold, you will pay two dollars to convert to an Ultimate, and you don't have to pay anything else. Yeah, you actually, only have to pay until the membership runs out. And if you don't want it, boom, cancel it and move and, it to um, something else. You actually, I read a comment. Some guy did it, and he was like, uh, "I actually don't even get charged un- until." It ends until his year ends, which is I don't know how. I'm pretty sure you got charged. Yeah, because you get charged to convert it. That's what I figured. You, well, no, no, like charged. he said he already had Game Pass Ultimate mm-hmm. for up till August 2021, mm-hmm. and then he got the two dollar thing for two more months, so now he has it for August October 2021. And it says you able to buy it. I don't think you can buy it if you have he, it already. He, he, he said he was he able he to. Was, was yeah, and it says because it, it says it stacks, and he says it doesn't even get charged until. It runs out in in August. If that's true, I will go and buy the two dollar thing. Yeah, too. that's I was like with two bucks. I'll do it when I get home from work. Um, Did you find the thing? Let me see. Gears Five PC is confirmed as a release. It's also it's also be an Xbox Play Anywhere title. Okay, yeah. So if you do buy it one place, you can play it in both places, which yep. is dope. Yep. I always love that they did that. Yeah. And then, of course, again, Game Pass Ultimate, you have it for free. Oh, yeah, it, which is cool because it's not even just a standard version. You get yep. the Ultimate Edition with version with Terminator. Game Pass Ultimate. Halo Reach people. God, yes. Which is amazing. Yep. Terminators in there yeah. looks awesome. I played Escape. That was fun. Uh, you yeah, need people, though. Huh? You need people. You, need people. Oh, God, you, yeah, you yeah. can't play it by yourself. I was no. trying to play it by myself because it was weird. I was having con- connectivity issues because mm-hmm. it was midnight at the game's release. And I got two people, but I never saw them in the game. So I don't know if yeah. that, it messed up or something. Well, we but were having issues for a little bit. Me trying, I was like in the middle so of the game, and then it just threw on tw- me out. On Twitter, they posted, they saw uh, people were having network connectivity issues so they mm-hmm. said they were trying to fix that so hopefully it's already fixed yeah and by the time we play tonight if you can get on we will uh uh have a, a better ish, uh, a better connectivity because it was just that one time and then once you got back on it was no no other problems luckily yeah luckily luckily all right guys that's the week thank you so much for stopping by if you liked this podcast head over to patreon.com slash easy give us a buck helps us out a lot shows us interest and we can eventually go right back into the podcast if you uh, don't want to support us that's fine if you don't have the money go over to youtube.com or any podcast service you use every friday it goes live every friday we go live to people who don't give us stuff early 
Every Friday we go live, give us five stars there, help us out there, give us the thumbs up, give us the five Androids, the five clouds and SoundCloud, whatever it's called. Help <laughs> us out. Um, go to YouTube, go to our playlist, hit play all, mute it, and let it give us the watch time. Helps a lot. I appreciate you guys. You got anything else to pimp? Nah, man. All right, that's it, guys. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. You-